he was booing me, holding on my wrist, stalling the fight, and saying, this is what you want. Instead of uh, me, I'm excited, and people love me. But uh, I don't know. He's trying to, he's trying to talk the, the ref into standing up the fight. He wanted somebody to help him out, I guess. Couldn't do it himself. <laughs> what was the what was I collected from? Well, uh, did, didn't he have a bet with you, or, or was oh. he cheering for the other guy? Oh, I don't know. I, I I didn't know. I saw him briefly on the way in, shook his hand, but yeah, I didn't hear about any bets. If he, he did, I'd like to collect. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, there was a barrage in the last minute of the first round that Daly was, you know, the stand up and kind of weathered quite a lot of it. Um, he got hit by some heavy shots. Was, was there any danger for you in that? No, because um, I was moving. I was rolling with everything. He only caught me with one semi-clean punch. Nothing really landed that very well. Um, I got a little bit of swelling here, but nothing else uh, really hit me. I was able to keep moving, and then my, my corner yelled at me uh, in between rounds to make sure I was I was moving forward and not letting him uh, initiate any of the exchanges. Is it hurtful to you that you know, your home crowd will boo the fact that you want to stay on the ground? I think, to me, they're booing him because he's the one not doing anything. Like, when I hear it... Booing the output of the fight. Because I'm 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 slugging away. I'm trying to do work, and this guy's just holding on to my my wrist and asking the ref to stand him up. That's not fighting. Like do something. Like sweep me. Stand up. Throw a punch. Throw it out. We'll do something. Don't 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 scream to the the referee to stand you up so you can stand up. Do it yourself. It's a fight. So John, were you were you, were you almost basically just disappointed? Then he wasn't, yeah, because yeah, if the guys don't, guides don't open up, they don't open themselves up to, to getting hit or submitted or anything. Like, it's, <clears throat> if, if they don't commit to something, if they don't commit to getting away, the openings don't come. Like, you have to get that guy to do something to get the openings. Like, if, if we were standing up and I just ran away from him the whole time, like, you're not going to get any openings to finish. Like, is the crowd booing him because I ran away from him the whole time? I see that as the same thing. Like, do work, try to do something. Because it seemed like you were fed up with that pretty quickly. A little, little bit, because I was like, come at me. I was like, I thought you were Paul Daly. I thought you were going to be, I was like, where's the flying knee? Where's the spinny shit? Where's, you know, come on. Like, come well, let's, me, come on. Let's go. Yeah, come at me. So, um, yeah, I guess he was trying to lure me into something. I don't know what, but I don't know. Fight. And then, like, in the moment, in that final minute, when, when he's talking to the camera, what did you, what, what's going through, as you're wailing, you're trying to punch the door. <clears throat> Your head as you're I told him to do something. I was like, fight, do something. Quit holding on to my wrist. Yeah, I said, quit, just hold on to my wrist. Do something. He's going to yell to the crowd and yell to the refs. He's got enough energy to yell and, and ask for help, but he's not, he doesn't have enough energy to actually try to fight and do something. Did you almost feel disrespected by what he was doing? No, I was just frustrated. You know, I wanted to try to get up, try to get away, try to do something so I could do some real damage. So, uh, John, several years ago, uh, Josh Koscheck faced Paul Daly, mm -hmm. and the result was fairly similar. I think a lot of people see the parallels between both fights. Uh, did you guys ever talk about this, or did you predict that this might play out the same way? No, I mean, not really. The fight happened so long ago. I mean, you guys change dramatically within like six months, so it's hard to like say something happened years and years ago. But um, no, I really expected Paul Daly to come at me. Like, really come at me with heat the whole time. I didn't expect him to kind of sit around and wait like that. And uh, one more question. Um, I guess uh, there's been a little bit of bad beef between Paul and the uh, promotion. Do you think this matchup was made because maybe there was a pretty good chance you were going to win decisively? No, I just think, you know, we have both have good names, and I think it was a good stylistic matchup just to kind of see what would happen. Um, he just could have easily could have caught me with a flying knee or something spinning back elbow. You know, he's got plenty of tools to, to fight hard and, and win fights. I think it was just two, two guys who've been around a long time. People know who we are. Um, it was a perfect, you know, kind of uh, storm scenario for both of us, but I don't, I don't think he delivered. John, John you're the uh, former World Series of Fighting uh, champion. You <clears throat> came into Bellator in your debut. You won in front of your hometown crowd. Uh, when you got your bout agreement, this one was uh, getting signed. Was there any discussion of, of this being title contention? Or no, like uh, I, I just want to take one fights one one fight at a time. I, I had a big layoff, you know, and I don't want to uh, dig myself into a, a, a tough spot, you know, because I had 
health things I'm dealing with, you know, life stuff I'm dealing with, and then not fighting for almost a year. You know, I don't want to go from that and uh, having a bad fight and then jumping into a 25-minute uh, training camp, you know, fighting for, for five rounds. It's, it's a big ordeal. I want to make sure I was ready for it. So uh, I wanted to get through the camp and see how I felt and get through the fight, see how I felt before, you know, I considered anything like that. And you don't want to overlook somebody like Paul Daly. It's dangerous. That's what I'm saying now with the outcome. You know. Now with the outcome, I mean, I'd be open to it. I hear rumors about tournaments, though. So we'll see what the plan is. What are the rumors? What are the rumors? I, I don't know. I just hear that there might be more tournaments like the heavyweight tournament right now. What would the welterweight tournament be? Fantastic one at the moment, given that there's probably. There's a lot of there's a lot of really tough welterweights right now, and um, the way that they're doing it um, with the heavyweights seems to be pretty successful. People are happy with that, so it could be fun. Assuming there's no tournament and you are and Roy McDonald for whatever reason isn't the next fight for you, is there someone else in the division you have your eye on facing? Um, no, I mean I'm not getting any younger, so I'd rather fight for a title sooner than later. You know, yeah. How do you see him as an opponent, and how do you feel that fight will play out? Uh, Roy's really, I, I know Roy's really tough, but I have to be honest, I've I've never watched him fight. I don't I don't I don't watch fights anymore really. Um, I just I just am in them. <laughs> as far as, as age goes and everything like that, how have you changed? It's just a number. Have you, but have you changed? Have you changed training like in this camp? Oh yeah, yeah. We've we've uh, or, yeah. we've all evolved a lot. Because when I first started, like I'm going through my old journals and I'm writing like a, I got a blog series on my website, Joffish.net. Oh, but um, I'm going through those old journals and I'm I'm reading about how we used to do training camp and how it's evolved over the over the years. And you know we just beat the crap out of each other some day, a lot of days. <laughs> and now it's a lot more scientific. Um, more, more drilling, more uh, uh, hard drilling, more more um, systematic type drills, and then there's weeks where I spar uh, uh, hard once or twice, rather than three times or six times a week, and then just uh, you know not even grappling hard every single day, just taking it easier on the body. You know, I'm I'm been doing this for 16 years. I know how to fight. I need to be healthy and in shape, and then uh, be good for the fight. And uh, that's about it. I don't need to treat every day like it's a world championship fight. Some younger guys need to learn that. All right, guys, one or two more questions. Yeah, I got a sub to eat. Well, besides eating the sub, how are you going to celebrate this big victory at home? Um, yeah, I'm going to go out downtown and uh, just spend some time with my peoples. And, uh, you know, San Jose is a great place. I love being here. And uh, there's some street tacos I think I'm going to eat. <laughs> I don't know, man. Some of them, yeah, There's many. You make them with everything, or do you have a specific way? No, I like the, uh, what is it, the tongue? Oh, I think, yeah, it's good.